super echo finding tool. You know, it's an okay echo finding tool. What's up, everybody? David O here. Uh, today, I want to go over uh, kind of a retouch on an earlier video I did about uh, ways to find echoes or resonant frequencies in dialogue in speech and how to clear those things up pretty easily inside Adobe Audition CC. Let's jump right in. And uh, it is best to note that this works best with some good studio monitors or some studio headphones. Uh, earbuds, it might be tough for you to hear some of this stuff. So here we go. Let's take a listen. Your evening newscast is brought to you by Hit and Run drive through Convenience Stores. I'm David Olinbittle. Here's what you need to know. Okay, so you can hear that there are some resonant, tinny sounding frequencies in this voiceover, and it is just because the environment in which it was recorded didn't have uh, a whole lot of sound treatment on the walls or anything like that, so there was a lot of uh, reverberation, and it's not terrible. I've definitely heard worse, but um, this has the possibility where we can fix some stuff throughout it. So let's dive in and see what we can do. First and foremost, anytime I have a piece of voiceover, I always do a noise reduction process on the entire thing, and you can find a link to that video here if you're not familiar with how to do it. It always helps the uh, cleaning up and editing process so you're not pulling up baseline frequencies or some of that room noise up whenever you amplify the volume. So here we go. Let's pull out some of those echoes. First and foremost, I'm in waveform. I'm going to go up to effects. I'm going to go into filter and EQ, and I'm going to pull up a parametric equalizer. My super echo finding tool, and it's just real simple. It is something I've created in the parametric EQ where I take the little ticks and I adjust the Q width on them. Now, if you look right down here, watch the width of that widen or tighten. And so I just bring it around 20, somewhere in there, and I've got a nice little spike where I can sweep over the frequency and sweep over the dialogue as it's delivered in real time on Adobe Audition, and I can hear some really resonant, tinny, echoey sound. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to put loop on here so it continually plays while we sweep back and forth. Let's see if we can hear some things to pull out. Here we go. Your evening newscast is brought to you by Hit and Run drive through Convenience Stores. I'm David Olinbiddle. Here's what you need to know. Your evening newscast is brought to you by Hit and Run drive through Convenience Okay, definitely have one right there. So now what I'm going to do is go down to the decibel level, the gain, the volume. I'm going to pull it down. About five decibel, uh, about negative five decibels, somewhere in there. Convenience Stores. I'm David Olinbiddle. And it already sounds a little bit better. So now with my super echo, echo, now with my super echo finding tool, I have... More that I can play with. Let's find some more frequencies and pull those out. Here we go. Here's what you need to know. Your evening newscast is brought to you by Hit and Run drive through Convenience Stores. I'm David Olinbiddle. I'll pull that Here's one down as well. Know. And there's more to be had. Let's find them. Your evening newscast is brought to you by Hit and Run drive through Convenience Stores. I'm David Olinbiddle. Here's what you need to know. Your evening newscast is brought to you by Hit and Run drive through Convenience Stores. I'm... So you can see that they're kind of living in uh, this like fundamental frequency region right here. Let's check out and see if we can find anything else hidden in here. David Olinbiddle, here's what you need to know. Your evening newscast is brought to you by Hit and Run drive through Convenience Stores. I'm David Olinbiddle. Here's what you need to know. Your evening newscast is brought to you by Hit and Run drive through Convenience Stores. I'm David Olinbiddle. Here's what you need to know. Your evening newscast is brought to you by Hit and Run drive through Convenience Stores. I'm David Olinbiddle. Okay, so I had uh, five separate frequencies I was able to pull the volume down on through my parametric EQ, and it really cleaned up the sound of that tinniness and that resonant frequency and kind of that real ambient sound that you don't really want in a voiceover. Let's listen to it on. Your evening newscast is brought to you by Hit and Run drive through Convenience Stores. Now let's listen to it off. Your evening newscast is brought to you by Hit and Run drive through Convenience Stores. Your evening newscast is brought to you by Hit and Run drive through Convenience Stores. Okay, so now I'm going to apply those. Let's see if there's a couple other things that we can add to this to really clean up and get rid of some more of those echoey frequencies. I'm going to go back into effect. This time I'm going to pull up my 30 band graphic equalizer and I have a real simple high pass filter put on here. And you can see I have all the low end stuff pulled down and then right at 100 I pull it down about negative 10 dB so it's kind of got like a nice fade to it. Let's listen. Cast is brought to you by Hit and Run drive through Convenience. So that sounds good. I'm going to go ahead and apply that and pull out those uh, low frequencies that aren't really helping much for the audio but they do have a lot of resonance in it. And one more thing that we can do to really get some of these resonant simple frequencies pulled out of this piece of vocal. I'm going to go back into effects, filter EQ, 
pull up my parametric equalizer again, I'm going to reset this to my super echo finder. And I've got this bad boy right here. But instead of sweeping up at the top, I'm going to sweep underneath this time. And let's see if whenever I sweep down here below this median line, if it sounds better at some certain frequency by pulling it out. So let's go ahead and give it a playback. Your evening newscast is brought to you by Hit and Run drive through Convenience Stores. I'm David Olinbiddle. Here's what you need to know. Your evening newscast is brought to you by Hit and Run drive through And surprise, surprise, it's kind of in the same area where I feel like it kind of pulls some of that reverberation out. And it's right above that 100 mark in the frequency range. It's specifically at 108 hertz. And so I'm going to go ahead and apply that. Now, let's listen to the finished product. Your evening newscast is brought to you by Hit and Run drive through Convenience Stores. I'm David Olinbiddle. Here's what you need to know. Now let's listen to the original. Your evening newscast is brought to you by Hit and Run drive through Convenience Stores. I'm David Olinbiddle. Here's what you need to know. Your evening newscast is brought to you by Hit and Run drive through Convenience Stores. I'm David Olinbiddle. Here's what you need to know. So, it's not a terribly dramatic thing, but it made something that was unusable quite usable. And that's kind of what you're going to get with the super echo finding method in Adobe Audition CC. If you have any questions, and I'd love to know how it's working for you, call, text, email if you know me. If not, leave them down in the comments. Thanks a lot.